Hey everybody, Josh the RV Nerd here at Bish's RV, and man, what a year it has been. The name on our shingle here in Coldwater, Michigan has changed. I've joined a much larger group and I've had the ability to suddenly see and experience a whole new world of RVs that I, I never really had a chance to see before. And along the way, I've seen some really cool stuff. And a lot of viewers have said, hey Josh, now that you've seen all these new brands and all these new things and traveled around, why don't you bring back your nerd preferred top five RV series? And I thought, you know what, that might be a fun idea. And I tell you what, this was really hard trying to boil down and condense all the different things that I've seen to just like my five favorite personal picks. That is not easy. There is some fun, cool stuff out there. And it seems like every brand has that one unit that is just, oh, it's done so good. So what we're gonna do today, I, I really went through and narrowed it down best I could. I've got a huge honorable mentions list today. This today is going to be my personal picks, my top five favorite couples camping, no bunkhouse uh, kind of travel trailers right here of any size and shape and variety. Um, and it's not to say that these are the best ones. These are just the ones that really spoke to me. And, and I think you'll see a trend as we go through here. I see so many of the same things all day, every day that when I get a chance to see something new and different and exciting and fresh, I really gravitate toward it a lot. But I've talked enough. Let's get ourselves started. We are going to see some fast flyby introductions to five RVs today. And if you'd like to learn more about these, I will leave you links to these in the video description, as well as links for pricing and availability. So let's get started. Roses are red. I'm wearing a hat. I've done this for 13 years and I ain't never seen nothing like that. Hey everybody, Josh the RV Nerd here at Bish's RV at my hometown Coldwater, Michigan store with the 25 RBP North Trail. But I think this thing should be called the Are You Kidding Me? I, they took a compact couples camper, gave it a massive bathroom. You've got a heavy duty tongue roof plywood floor so you don't get soft spots, a big king bed up front here. Um, a massive under bed basement storage space that dwarfs almost anything I've seen, frankly, even in a lot of fifth wheels. Uh, but they blended together a compact living room with massive counter space and a, and, a, and a dining arrangement like a fifth wheel toy hauler that I've seen before. It is a frickin' Franken camper and it works like a fox. I like this thing. This is a wild little critter right here, man. Couple that together with a very rare quality in the world of travel trailers, a full true two inch sidewall, um, a, a vaulted ceiling to give you some extra headroom like in the shower where you really need it. And this comes out with just a weird arrangement that works for me. It's 5,800 pounds dry weight. It has a serious cargo capacity of like 2,700 additional pounds. You can actually pack this sucker full of cargo. How many big fifth wheels, how many big trailers have you seen out there? They have like jack squat, like an 1,100 pound cargo capacity. Forget that, like 2,700 pounds of crap in this thing. Not to mention the, the little dining desk arrangement. Um, you don't have to have a polo white Dinofa chair or something stupid like that. You just have a desk. You could, oh my gosh, you could work camp out of this thing. This rocks. And if this isn't copied, it's gonna be. Now I've seen this floor plan three times so far and I haven't seen them all yet. But of the three I've seen, this to me is the best of any of them. Hey everybody, Josh the RV Nerd here at Bish's RV with the 1900 mm East to West uh, Alta series. And I gotta tell you, East to West is coming out of nowhere and really taking me by surprise and really impressing me with some of the things they did. I kind of overlooked them initially and then I started looking at their features, their floor plans, their resume. They're a two time back to back DSI quality award winner. During the two most challenging years in the history I've ever seen, at least in 13 years of RV production. They're a brand that is getting the job done, they're getting it job done well. They're bringing us the right features at the right weight at the right price. Um, this is a nice, uh, I, I would call it shorter length, something that doesn't feel too long to tow. It's only 5,500 pounds on a tandem axle. Makes me feel like I've got plenty of cargo capacity left and it's, uh, it's just gonna control and handle better and feel safer to me as compared to a single axle model. But this floor plan, it has more um, countertop storage than I've seen in rear kitchen fifth wheels. 
you, it is, uh, frankly, Maverick could land his fighter jet on this thing. Uh, there's just, it's an aircraft carrier's worth of space in the kitchen countertop. It's amazing. You've got a, uh, the only really knock that I have against this camper is that it's a bendy bed because other than that, I feel like they did everything right. They gave me a long bed. They gave me a tall ceiling. They gave me plenty of sho shower space. Awesome storage, direct facing entertainment, a sofa where it belongs. Nailing it. They're nailing it. Whoa. Sorry. I, um, <laughs> I did not realize I felt that strong about it. Wow. East to West, you're bringing it out of me, man. <laughs> Hey everybody, Josh the RV Nerd here at Bish's RV in Coldwater, Michigan. Welcome back to the regular members of the RV Nerd Herd. Folks, you've been asking for it, you've been waiting for it, and they are finally doing it. Look at that, four wheel, true trailing arm, off-road independent suspension, what I'm going to call Max Series Embers. They are finally out there, finally here and available, rolling out as uh, this is released across the nation, guys. So the reason I'm calling this the Max Series is because uh, as compared to the Overland, which is a seven and a half foot wide single axle, this is a quad wheel, full eight foot wide body. So it's a little bit bigger in, all the way around. But the thing is you're getting you can feel that extra space immediately, but you have so much more storage in these as compared to the common Overland series that calling it the Max just made sense to me. So this is the definition of roughing it smoothly. It's gonna work just as good inside of the parks as out because even if you're not gonna go off-roading, that suspension package is, that is not just hype. It rides and handles so, so nicely. And now you get the peace of mind of that having four wheels on the ground instead of two. We still have an all aluminum and composite body. It's like all Asdell and, and there's, there's not wood in the structure of this thing. It's something that theoretically uh, could be like generational. You may be able to hand this like down to your kids or something like that. It is zero to 100 and, uh, degree rated, hot cold camp rated, factory standard solar, advanced solar available, factory standard inverter, advanced inverter available. They go above and beyond in so many ways. And this I think is their very first model that has a non-Murphy bed that's just a straight 60 by 80 true queen walk around. It's almost everything I think everyone said they wanted in an Ember couples camper all wrapped up into one. Hey everybody, Josh the RV Nerd here at Bish's RV in Coldwater, Michigan, my hometown store, and I am beaming bright today because basically this baby is my baby. This is the 274 RKS Freedom Express. It's a model that uh, I helped originally devise years ago for a different manufacturer. I suggested to Coachman, they said, we think that's an awesome floor plan. We wanna put that into production. And I wanted to make good on a promise I made earlier this year when I reviewed the very first uh, prototype of this. And I mentioned some of the differences that might be coming in a final model. And I said, I will get you a full look at this thing. So what are we looking at here? This is a, uh, in, in my bias opinion, obviously a fantastic couples model. It gives us fantastic kitchen counter space. And that's something a lot of couples models lack is just really good prep space. But it also gives us something most rear kitchens don't do a good job. Of, and that is just a direct facing entertainment center on the corner of Boardwalk and Park Place where you're not doing a neck crank wrecker all around the place. Now there's a couple things I like about this one. There's a couple things I think they could do better and there's a couple things where I see they listen to our input off that prototype uh, video and I wanted to kind of gather a little more input as we went here to see what can we do to maybe provide them some more uh, input to, to take it yet again to the next level. This is a double Asdell product. Uh, it has a uh, carpetless, ventless flooring and slides. Well, of course you have <laughs> ventless slides. You get the idea, right? But what I like about these, these are a, uh, a trailer that's really good for a bigger, taller person. It's got a taller ceiling, has a true queen bed with an awesome vaulted storage system. And I just can't wait to see what you think about this one overall. It, in a way, it's almost a double kitchen. You have a kitchen inside, kitchen outside, but I'm gonna show you a couple areas that I think it falters a little bit too. And if you appreciate that fair look, showing you the good with the bad, make sure you hit that subscribe button, join us on the next one. But in the meantime, let's get Doug in here. But, Doug still doesn't work here. Now, I know that we've seen a lot of things flying past us real fast. Like I said, these are just some quick introductions. If you would like full video tours of any of the things that you've seen here today, check the links in the video description. I've got full, probably 20 to 30 minute walkthroughs of each and every one of these things if you'd like to learn more. Um, but along the way, 
uh, like I had a heck of a list and I had a hard time narrowing it down. So I thought I'd offer some honorable mentions over here that I'm just gonna list on screen real quick. And again, if you'd like to maybe dive into those, if you're like, huh, I wonder what that one's about a little bit there, check those links in the video description. I've got a lot of them down in the description section of this one, but every one of those will take you to a full video walk through this one. But without any further delay, my personal pick, my number one favorite couples camper for the 2022 model year, coming up now. You know, people ask all the time, why do manufacturers always bury all the windows overlooking the neighbor's side of the campsite? I don't wanna look at their campsite, I wanna look at my site. And it's hard to do, but Grand Design did it, and I don't say this very often, from a floor plan perspective, this RV, I feel, is like nearly perfect. Hey everybody, Josh the RV Nerd here with Vicious RV and that big P word, that perfect word, that is not a word that I throw around often. And I'll never call anything 100% dead on. There's a couple little nitpicks that I have with this RV, but from the perspective of a floor plan, I feel this thing is almost flawless in its execution for the goals that it is trying to accomplish. Giving us super slide, giving us big space, but giving us door side windows. But the thing is, as you go, the way that they accomplish this, which is not easy, by the way, because I've dabbled with floor plan design. When you start mucking with A to B to C, uh, knee bone to leg bone stuff, it gets messy and it gets messy very quickly. They created something that has the best functioning travel mode I've seen in a super slide camper ever in the history of my career. Um, you know, we've got awesome features like a true queen bed. We are carpetless, we are ventless flooring. They have a very respectable hot cold camp package considering the classification of RV that we're looking in right here. And really, I think that that's like pretty much one of the only knocks that you can throw against this camper um, is that, uh, you know, maybe you might prefer something that's aluminum framed or laminated. And I, I do believe there's a couple floor plans like that out there. It's early in the morning. I'm not caffeinated, so I'm not remembering one of those offhand. I know normally I just spout model numbers off left and right, but this thing is phenomenal. Now, um, I will say this about it. I hope you like a brown decor, uh, because, um, <laughs> if you like brown, then you're gonna like this. If you don't, you're gonna be mad so what do you think guys um was your model included on this list your personal favorite or if there's one that just you know just because i didn't include it doesn't mean it's not a good model or anything like that last year i put a list out this like this out there and someone says well what do you have against this brand i don't have anything against any brand there's just certain ones that i have exposure with that speak to me but at the same time there's still plenty of rvs out there that i've never seen so if there's one that you think should have made this list, leave me a little comment. Uh, again, I've got links in the video description. You can see all of the top five here and the honorable mentions. Um, and I'll try to remember to drop some links back for pricing and availability if you'd like to see what one of these might be running on a given day here. And short of that, let me know the top five you'd like to see next. I can't make promises. I have a lot of requests. I'll do my best to fill in the blanks when I get the chance though. So until next time, take care, stay safe, have fun. Best wishes from Vicious, everyone. It's been a blast.